Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 Plus as Duke Carl without any nicknames, which is great. Uh, we still suffer from the gout and cancer, so it's just a matter of time that we're gonna die, especially now that we don't have any balls anymore. And um, yeah, it's not really surprising that work has become boring and the hours of the day drag on. We're no longer diligent, which means we'll lose it. Yeah, quite a lot of our stats, that's unfortunate. Um, and I've been thinking about if we want to hold a glory faction. I mean, I think we will do this and we'll probably voluntarily step down uh, from, from that faction. I wonder if I could just leave it. In fact, maybe I could do that too. No, uh, yes, I could. I could leave the glory faction. I just, at least I don't want to lead it anymore. Maybe we want to be part of the faction, but I don't think we want to lead it anymore. Now, my son Gilbert asked me for land, for landed estates. You know what? Fine, fine. Yeah, there you go. You've got some estates. And we'll step down voluntarily. Yeah, that's exactly... I will no longer be leading this. It's just we're not diligent anymore. So we'll step down. Um, oh, that actually puts us out of the glory faction as well. You know what? I'm fine with this. I think this is okay. Um, we're now... Oh, look at this. Duke Carl Ironside. That's so much better than the drunkard. Yes, I'm very glad. Okay, the peasants learned. The peasants learned. Being such an industrious ruler, you have not gone unnoticed by the population of Vexen. Uh, by paying the country oilers a personal visit, they would surely be inspired and the peasants would feel particularly appreciated. It's time for me to visit it. Yes, of course. Now that they uh, call me by a much better nickname, it's... it's Yeah, this is great. Um, now, Lord Mayor Holden, he is apparently part of a faction. Ask him... Would I ask him politely? That's the question. Uh, I mean, sure, I guess. Yeah, he's not particularly interested. It doesn't really matter that much. I mean, we still hold all the power, basically, in our realm. Um, and look at Ruen, already... Wait, was it prospering before? I'm not too sure. There's a Anglo-Saxon liberation revolt. Declaring their war on France. People know Frog are happy. That's... Okay, actually, that's Kent that has risen up. That's interesting. That's our lands. Um, I don't, don't think I want him. I don't want to, anything to do with him. That's really interesting. There's the there's a few men that have risen up. Um, but yeah, as I said, from our lands, our domain. So what do we control? We control Buckingham. And we do have you as a vassal. Yeah, Lord of Middlesex. That's basically all of our power base if I'm not mistaken yeah that's all we have really and then our main power in in Valois itself and of course Rouen is under our control too okay well but this rebellion is going to be put down I wonder what's going to happen uh, if, if we will get control of this or, or what we do need a new court chaplain what happens oh yeah Gilbert is now oh look at this she, he, she did not only inherit the, the two counties, but also she became the Duchess of Carrington. This is a regular marriage. Um, that's pretty amazing. Duke Gilbert, he has his estates. He does have a daughter already with his first wife. She does have a claim on the Holy Roman Empire as well. That's so cool. So, you are Duke. You are mayor. You have estates and you are the heir. Okay, now, that means I will probably appoint the person I like the most. Or he, actually, he likes me the most. My opinion of this guy is negative 16, plus 9, minus 4. Probably Gelduin. I like him the most. So we'll appoint him and just let him do his thing, really. Not particularly important what he does. Um, and yeah, this is a waste of my time. I've said this before and I will say it again. Saint Carl the Benign, or Benin, or how you say this. The good, I guess you could say as well. King of Sweden. King Carl of Sweden. Or Saint Carl. Maybe I wanna maybe I'm gonna become a saint as well. Uh, probably not. It would be funny though. Thirteen thousand men. Where am I actually? I'm the Marshal of France, currently training troops in Paris. And Liege, uh, yeah, not Liege, Liege is enforcing peace, a realm peace. Mm, that's okay, we're not fighting anyone anyways, and we're content, so I think 
fine with that. In fact, what we might want to do is just perform statecraft. No longer get any claims. And I could imprison you because you want to discredit your brother. Just end your plot, please. Of course, he's a scheming man. He would do these things. Uh, but that's okay. He will stop. So yeah, saddle my horse. We're going to continue hunting. That's all we do, really, at this point. Which is completely fine. But 100% wondering what's happening. Oh, he is imprisoned. And he's our vassal. Cool. He's now Catholic. But we get control over these lands again. Which I think is really, really good. Okay. So Liege has informed Realm Peace. So we can't do anything. For 60 months. That's fine. You spent weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey. Uh, it's because my retainers are useless. We are so proud. I think that's okay. Uh, when casually strolling through the premises... Come across Bishop Thomas sitting at his desk, overburdened with work. You see, this is a great opportunity to help him gain a favor, but to su surprise, he only refuses and insults me. Okay. But we are now known as the Ironside. This is so amazing. I'm really, really happy. Much, much better than any other name, to be honest. And, okay, the King of France is now also King of, well, England, as he has been before, but also now Aragon. It's pretty impressive. Count Adamar expresses his wish to have a seat in the council. Um, and I don't want you. You're drunk. You're not going to be very helpful in any affair. So, that's that. I wonder if there's anything we can maybe build. Or passing judgment to criminals from a safety of your throne. A young noble is brought before you. You quickly... You know what? Yes. I don't actually know what he did. A character who owes us favor. I think that's what we'll do. This is Philip the Wendover. Hmm. Let's see what we can do with him. Can make him my Master of Hunt. Which he isn't exactly. Let's see who I can appoint as Master of Hunt then. Anyone? Someone gotta be hunting with us. Maybe Clotaire. You know what? As Marshal, you're gonna be my Master of Hunt as well. I don't know what we will do with Philip. Or Philippe. Uh, I have learned that Count Cyrus spoke his support for me at the faction meeting in Rouen. Slightly improving the mood of his faction. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. I'm glad I made you the uh, Count. Doing a really good job there. Now, my faction supporters are prepared to overthrow our liege. Should he refuse a rightful demand, he's surrendered one of his many titles. Um, that's the Doge of Kent. Wow, he's an exceptional fighter. Now... I will stand with Doge Sieghelm. Let me see his faction. That's the glory faction. You know what? I think I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stay loyal. I'm... Oh! And Sire has died. Under suspicious circumstances. Hmm. How many members of House Ventalna left? There's Stephanie. 21 years old. Married to Hamelin. And then we've got little Hugh. Okay, that's interesting. That's very unfortunate. He was an exceptional steward. I mean, he was just exceptional at everything he did, but especially that. I think what we will do is I will appoint Rearg, our Seneschal, um, as uh, to this position. And wow, Jean, look at his. We've got just amazing people here. Wow. Now, I want you to collect taxes, please. That's still the best you can do. Making some really good cash. Wait, what is your stewardship again? No, I forgot. Who did I just appoint a steward? Oh, right. Ruag. Yeah, 17 isn't quite 20, but still. Uh, and Henry is somehow being educated by me. I'll show him. Yeah, sure. And he's in Dolan. That's fine. It's not my son. So I don't actually mind that much necessarily. Yeah, but we, as a content person, I don't think we're going to push for any more than what we already have. I mean, we're, we're doing fine. Uh, I wonder, how many men do we have now? 5,000? Even more than that, 7,000. Holy War for Murcia. And this rebellion never even started, it seems like. 
I've taken such pride in myself lately that court chaplain Bishop Geldwin notices this and chides me about it. Okay. Doesn't like that I'm proud. Well, he'll have to get used to it. We can seek treatment for our illness once again. We will, but this might be the end of our great treatments. Um, and the Count of Middlesex has died, which is interesting because now I'm the heir. If this little two-year-old dies of his flu. Uh, and Philippe has died of an infected wound. So now my grandson is the King of Navarra. And that means my daughter, the famous beauty, is... Well, she's actually still pregnant, but she's now widowed. Okay. But yeah, it's surprising that this faction never started. Maybe... Maybe he was asking around and then decided that, you know, we don't have enough support. I don't know how that works exactly. And... Didn't we already seek treatment for illness? Hmm. Edward is doing a superb job improving relations with our feudal vassals. Well, let's have a quick look at our vassals. Um, I think it's... I think it is actually uh, the town that needs to be improved. Yeah. Because negative 52 is much better than negative 77. Uh, let's try the new thing. Let's just keep doing that. And we feel amazing. That's great. That's what I wanted. An extra tithe. Very good. And we can go on a hunt again. Unfortunately, we can never plan any grand hunts. Because, you know, we just, we're just always sick. We've got cancer. And this guy insulted us again. Is that my... Is that you? Hmm. Adulterous priest. No, maybe it's someone else. And Clotera messed up. Hmm. It's not good. Also, his daughter died, obviously. Why is the faction angry now? Oh, that's not in Valois. Okay. Somewhere else. Prosperity faction in France is unhappy. The glory faction is very, very powerful. I don't necessarily mind. Support me in the council, Duke of Burgundy. I think I shall, because we've got two favors already that we might never use. But we'll support them in the council, it's fine, I don't... I don't know what I can do with these favors at some point. Maybe... You have something important. Your daughter. Your son, Richard. Maybe I can arrange a marriage between him and my daughter, Eleanor. Perhaps even a matrilinear marriage. He would say, no, he's too high in a line of succession. Okay. Hmm. That probably doesn't work either, does it? That's my granddaughter. Yeah, he would say no. Even with the favor, he would say no. So... That doesn't really help much, does it? She's married. I think he he doesn't get to decide this. Alright, yeah, I'm not really sure what we'll do with these favors, but at some point I'm sure they will come in handy. Uh, should I spend some money on building something? I, I just don't think so. I think we'll just we'll just keep the money for now and we'll 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 see what our what our heir will do with it. Um but I just I just don't think we we are really interested in, in doing anything with it. We apparently... Did we win a holy war? I suppose we did. France is just incredibly powerful. Uh, I like how Brittany is still able to, you know, survive though. I think this is really, really cool. Um, Duke of Aragon refused the revocation of the Sheikdom of Castellon. I will not help him in this. I don't see why I should. Interesting though that people ask, or that you are being asked. Uh, but of course, yeah, I have no intention of helping him there at all. The daughter was born to Stephanie. So we kind of have to check out. Um, you are not married. You could marry the Prince of Navarra. In fact, that would probably be a really good fit. I think. Yeah. Because, you know, you have traditionally a claim here. And Navarra is over here, but has lands here too. I feel like this fits. And we can do this because, well, our grandson is the king of Navarra. I feel like this is... Uh, you know, possible. 
Okay, you need maybe a different educator. Blanche, you maybe need someone. Yeah, maybe Edward doing this. There you go. So, your son, you've got basically two members right now. And your son is going to be married. Then you are 14. Why don't you have an education? That's not good. You are brawny and ambitious. And they're going to be probably a good intrigue focused person. And then we've got, yeah, Philippe. Philippe. Maybe you marry my daughter, Eleanor. Mm, no. Honestly, don't know really what to do with you. And that's our liege. And then Hugh, you're going to have to marry on your own. There's not much I can do for you. The uh, Empire has a bit of a revolt going on right now, which is totally fine. Armenia is doing very well. Georgia is doing fine too. And there seems to be another Orthodox king. Um, but Jerusalem is still strongly in Shiite hands. It's even converted. So, there you go. Uh, okay, son was born to Clotaire. Now, because people have been so... Well, at least one person has been so pushing for it. I'm going to name him Charles and not Carl. I think that's okay. It's basically the same. And we'll give him the struggle focus. I think this is quite... It's probably the best. Clotaire named his son... Charles. I think that's good. Yeah. And do I want another one of those? No. Honestly, I don't think I want more of these nobles that are at my court and owe me a favor. They just... I don't really know what to do with them. So, yeah. Okay, and Duke Eben has died. Well, that's not perfect. Because that was one of our favors. And Count Joffrey is now our vassal. Down here. Okay, is that good? A France transfer the vassalage of Count Herbert de Bourgogne to us. So we j gained two new vassals, but the actual duchy was given to someone else. So, oh no, that's interesting. He gave us control over the duchy of Upper Burgundy. At least over the French parts. Huh. That's interesting to say the least. So... Duke Loop to Cruel, the Bourbon. No, I don't actually want to support you, honestly. We can recruit a new court physician, which might be necessary. In fact, this guy's a scholar. I'll have you... Hmm. Let me see. Is court educator? Probably have you. You're a scholar. I think you're more like the one that should educate children. And then court physician, I'm probably going to pick, like, a mystic. I think that's probably good. Yeah. Do I like him? I like him. Okay. Let's go for that. I think that's good. We don't have to hire anyone if we have other people available at court. So yeah, our, uh, well, our strength grows. We have lands and vassals all over the place, but uh, I'd rather have more direct titles, to be honest, than having more vassals. It's just not all that useful. Um... What happened to my ambition to become a formidable fighter? Maybe I'm too old. I'm 50. Maybe that doesn't work anymore. Gaining an honorary title is probably what I want to do. We're still proud. I feel like this is probably the best. And then, council support from the Duchy of Artois and Flanders. You know what? I will accept that. Yeah, she's blinded. Blind nun, looks like. So, we've got quite a few favors. Don't know what we can really use them for, as I said. But I'll take them anyways. Your heir is married, unfortunately. So, you can't take advantage of any of this. We can force him to join our factions. But that's about it. Hmm. Well, someone is claiming our lands. Either way, though, I feel like, you know, we've got full coffers. We are the marshal. We are also a king. I, I, I of course, would love for my wife to change the succession law. But uh, it's unlikely she's going to do that. Although it's not even her family inheriting. It's a different family inheriting. So wouldn't she want to at least have her kids inherit? It's hard to say. But either way, I will end this episode here today. We have grown in power despite not really doing much. So that's, that's one good thing. And uh, we will continue to grow in power. 
uh, as time goes on. And uh, we will we will get our chance at the Kingdom of France soon enough, I hope. Anyways, as I said, that was it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.